Hi pals! So I admit, I've been procrastinating on making this video because I didn't really know what to say and I didn't want to think about it. Here's... this is gonna be something, I guess. My disability is called Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome and people often refer to it as EDS for short. It's not caused by anything other than genetics, so you can't catch it. You're just born with it. <laughs> Lucky me, I guess. There are six major types of EDS, and last year I was diagnosed with type 3 EDS, or it's known as hypermobility type. My joints dislocate and sublux. Regardless of the type of EDS, it impacts the body's production of collagen. So basically the reason why I'm hypermobile is because my collagen is weaker than normal collagen. This condition can manifest in different ways in different people, but some of the common symptoms and common problems that occur with EDS are frequent dislocations and subluxations, which is the hyperextension of the joint, which causes chronic pain. And anyone with chronic pain will tell you that that causes chronic fatigue. To be in pain all the time is quite exhausting. EDS also can cause scoliosis. Our skin is really stretchy. I thought it was like a normal thing as a kid that I could just like stretch my skin out, but apparently people don't have the stretchy of skin. It just, it stretches more than I guess the common Human can also cause Chiari malformations and tethered cord syndrome. It can cause TMJ, problems healing, hernias, and retinal detachment, and early onset osteoporosis and arthritis. It impacts internal organs, so there's a lot of GI issues that occur, constant nausea and endometriosis and there are obviously many more things that EDS can cause and can create problems with in the body because collagen basically makes up someone's body. I see so many doctors I have to like keep them in a scroll list somewhere just because there are so many things that I have to regularly check up on to make sure that everything's kind of functioning as well as it can. Another thing that comes along with EDS is a secondary condition called POTS, Postural Orthostatic Tachycardia Syndrome. POTS is a condition that involves the body's autonomic nervous system, which basically means it impacts all of the things that you don't really think about that your body just kind of does. My body just stopped regulating itself, so my temperature is all over the place and I'll randomly just start sweating profusely even though I've been sitting down. My heart rate increases dramatically and my blood pressure drops when I stand, which causes fainting. This happens because when people with POTS stand, they're veins and their legs don't constrict themselves, so blood just tends to pool. These symptoms tend to increase when I've done anything the day before or haven't gotten enough sleep, but they can still kind of just be all over the place anyway, which is frustrating. It's a lot to manage and new symptoms can just randomly present themselves, which is scary because just when you think you have things possibly under control a bit and you're learning to manage with your symptoms, it just pulls the rug from underneath you and you're basically back to trying to figure out how to live with your body. And dealing with this illness can be extremely overwhelming as well because there's not much of a support system in place for people who have Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, socially or medically. There's a weird social politic to illness where if someone says they have cancer or more recently ALS, People show sympathy because they understand the illness and they've been made aware of it. My experience with telling people I have EDS is a slow nod or a disbelief that someone could even function with chronic pain all the time. Most conversations I have about EDS often require me explaining even what collagen is. It gets awkward and repetitive and it's a conversation that I obviously don't like having. It's why it took me three weeks to just sit down in front of this camera and finally make this video. But I wanted to give you a general idea about what EDS is medically before I continue to go on talking about my 
social experience with having a chronic illness because chronic illnesses aren't talked about often and not much is said about this condition publicly. And that's why it took me over 10 years to get a diagnosis and I'm fairly lucky in terms of that. Some people go undiagnosed their entire lives. I guess I just hope that in the future, less people have to wait as long to find out what's going on with them and there are more treatment options for people who have EDS. Anyway, thank you so much for liking and commenting and sharing and subscribing and doing all the stuff that you guys do. You are awesome and I hope to see you sooner rather than later.